Mike Maker has two going in the grade one Maker's Mark Mile. Let's start with some like it. Hot Brown had a really good 2020. How is he coming up to this race? He's doing super. Uh, we gave a freshening after uh, the Fort Lauderdale at Gulfstream and uh, just looks fabulous. Why did you pick out this spot for him? Why is it a good fit? Uh, we were thinking about uh, testing the waters, uh, cutting back to a mile this year, and uh, you know it's home for everybody. And we just have to start back and maybe hit the chemical after that. He's only run a mile, I think, what a couple of times. I Correct. Uh, what is it about his his game, so to speak, that makes you think he could fit? Uh, he has some natural speed. Uh, whether or not he'll it'll uh, show up going a mile, who knows? But. Uh, Grade one worth a shot. And you know that uh, Field Pass uh, likes that distance and likes this course. Yes, he does. Some of his better races have been here. And uh, same thing, he ran California, got some time off and uh, trained. Seemed like he was uh, at his best when he finished up last year. How has he picked up his, uh, this campaign? Same, uh, really filled out and makes a type of experience as well. If there's any give in the ground, uh, does it uh, affect either one of them? Uh, some like it, Hot Brown has run uh, some of his better races with some given the ground and uh, field pass didn't seem to mind it either. Uh, how has field pass uh, changed, if at all? Anything you see differently about him? Hey, he's a very feminine horse. He's a two and a three year old and uh, uh, really filled out and good muscle tone from uh, of last year. Giving you some signs he's maybe ready to take another step forward? Yes. What is it that you're seeing? Uh, like I said, just uh, he's matured, put on weight, and uh, just a big difference in the horse from three to four.